What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John, from the Game Dude here. Welcome to you back to another episode of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye to Despair. And in this episode, we are going to start off with some uh, free time. And honestly, starting out with free time is probably some of the best possible situations. Um, our snake is having a grand old time, and we love it. Um, snake and me. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and view the map and see kind of who we want to talk to. Pekko's here, which I am very glad that Pekko is here. I wish I could go, like, see Nagito, but I feel like we're gonna have Nagito for a long time, like I said. Nekamaru's in the room, and it's kind of hard for me not to go to ne Nekamaru's room. Um, it is very hard for me to resist giving free time to Nekamaru in the room. Like, extremely hard. Um, just like his dick. But, anyways, um... We can't be doing that. And honestly, I do think that we need to spend time with Chiaki. So that is actually who I'm going to spend time with. Even though I really badly want Nekomaru in his room. Um, but I think spending time with Chiaki is the best option here. It's another person that we haven't really hung out with very often. We should spread our wings and fly. Do we have something for Chiaki, actually, now that I think about it? Can we see our presence? We can. Okay, cool. Lemon flavor, carbonated drink, marble plugs. Oh, it's that thingy! Famous anti-energy drink. So that's like for somebody who's hyped up. Which, I don't know who would be that way. Maybe she'll like potato chips? Sunflower seeds are for Nekomaru. <gasps> oh, that's perfect for Chiaki. Tips and trips second edition. Uh, chips and tricks second edition. We're gonna give that to you for sure. It never seems Monokuma's arcade machine. I've never seen Monokuma's arcade machine before. Did he also program the hard drive? Should I hang out with Chiaki today? Yes, please. Yep. Yeah, sure. Let's take a break together. I agree, Chiaki. I spent time today relaxing with Chiaki. Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little closer today. Do you want to give Chiaki a present? Yes. I want to give you the Tips and Chicks 2nd Edition. Because I think you will really appreciate that. Oh, hi, Ame! You've been holding on to this something pretty nice! <laughs> Thank you! No one's ever given me such an awesome present before! She's staring off in the space again, as usual. She really loved that. Sorry, I was getting a little sleep. While you were standing? Impressive. Have you not been sleeping well? Hmm. When I'm gaming, I tend to forget about sleeping entirely. Sometimes I even forget to breathe. Th that's not good! Plus... I keep having nightmares. I had a bad dream the other day, so I've been a little scared. Can I ask you what dream you had? Well, it was a dream about Trio the Punch. Huh? Mm -hmm. That statue at Jabberwock Island changed into a bald old man with a thin mustache. It's probably because that's the game also takes place on a tropical island, but <laughs> the more I think about it, the more the situation feels like that bizarre action game. We might eventually end up turning into sheep. Trio the Punch is a game, right? What kind of game is it? More importantly, you really must enjoy games, huh, Chiyoki? Hmm, well, how should I put it? I like it, but gaming is my life. More, or maybe life is just a game. Either way, that's not all, that's all the more reason why killing shouldn't be allowed. It's not a game if you're not having fun. It doesn't mean anything if you focus on winning or losing. You're right. It doesn't mean that mean games always have to be have happy endings, but you should get something out of beating them. There might be weird games here and there, but there are always ways of enjoying those too. 
That's why bizarre games are fun. You beat them as long as you do your very best. <laughs> as I expected from the ultimate gamer, I probably would just give up on the game like that. But to tell you the truth, there's only one type of game that I'm really not good at. Which kind is it? I won't tell you. I, I see. Does she have a reason for not telling me? Well, just by talking to Chiaki, I feel like I was able to understand her a bit better. So I guess that's good enough for now. I wonder what type. I pottered ways with Chiaki and went back to my room. I really wonder what type of game that she's not good at. Like, I, I would assume shooters because she doesn't seem like the first person shooter type. She's probably like me. But, we'll never know. It's still light outside, so there's plenty of time left. Maybe I should go try so, try going somewhere. Should I, Or should I spend time with someone? Yeah, we're spending more time with people. That's what, that's what today is about. That's what this episode is partially about. Is spending the time with people that we care about. Um, which, speaking of, on the report card, was that a first time talking to Chiaki? Because we got a lot out of her if that was. It really was. Okay. That's the hard part, right? Because, like, there's some characters... I feel like there's some characters that we need to spend more time with. Like, Ibuki. I feel like I've been neglecting Ibuki. I'll be perfectly honest. I feel like I neglected Ibuki. Same with Gundam. Like, there's a lot of characters that I think are really good that I just don't feel like I have time to spend with them. Which I guess is part of the replayability. Dude, Nekomaru is right here on the hotel front. Chiaki's also still in the same spot. Which almost makes me want to talk to her more. You know what? Yeah. We're going to double up on Chiaki. Um, but I need to go get Tips and tri Tricks 2nd Edition if I want to. Well, no, I already gave her that. So wouldn't it be like... I mean, it, actually, we did learn that it would be the same thing. But I kind of want to give her something different. But we don't really have anything different to give her. Yeah, we don't. Okay, okay. And do we want to talk to Chiaki? Like, yes and no is the answer to the It's hard for me because Nekamaru has been basically right here both times. I, I But you, you gotta applaud me for skipping a room adventure, right? Like, you have to, like, feel happy for me that I, I skipped a room adventure with Nekamaru, the hottie of the bunch, to go talk to Gamer Girl. Now, I'm sure y'all are like, but it's Gamer Girl. Like, we should we expected you to talk to her. Yes, I know, but still. It's fine. It's whatever. Whenever I'm playing games, I get a strong urge to eat whatever food appears in the game. So I guess I want to eat donuts right now. What should I do? Should I hang out with Chiaki? Yes! Do we have donuts? I wonder if the supermarket has any donuts. Alright, I should go check. We're gonna go to the supermarket! We found donuts and spent time eating them, asking... Or talking to each other. Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Chiaki a present? Sure. What are we giving to her? Well, we got her donuts already. We'll give you this, too. You want more sweets? If you give me this, me, then I guess I'll accept it. Yep, thanks. Hmm. She's sleeping again. Hey, if you're that sleepy, why don't you go back to your room and rest? Ah, uh, no. Since you're here, let's talk. If you give up at this level, you'll never defeat the warlock lord my adventure ended like this that's all you're gonna get she looked half asleep hmm i can't believe that you don't get my shadow gate joke hey if you get bored do you want to go somewhere you might wake up if you go for a walk i want to go to a fun place a fun place the park 
How about the park? When you're playing a game at the park, all the kids just gather around for no reason. Same with a game you're only able to play in the sun. It's very difficult for adults and shut-ins to play. Looks like she wants to go somewhere else. A fun place, huh? The supermarket. Should we go check out the supermarket? I like running over zombies with skateboards and wheelchairs. Chainsaws are the strongest, though. Sounds so fun. I don't really know what it means, but I guess it's fine. Chiaki's okay with it. Chiaki and I walk to the supermarket together. We talked through the aisles and looked around without buying anything. Because this place is so big, it has an amazing selection of goods. Christmas ornaments, bamboo grass, and the star for the star festival. This place has too much of everything. Hmm. I wonder what happened to Chiaki. What's this? These sweets look cute. Oh, these are like sweet rice crackers for girls' day. Man, this place is seriously has everything. I see. They're called sweet rice crackers? You eat them during girls' day, you know. Huh? What's girls' day? Huh? You don't know? It's on March 3rd. You're a girl. Didn't you celebrate it with your family? Oh, crap. I'm sure she has reasons for not knowing, but even so, I... Oh, no. It's nothing. Forget what I said. Um, nope. I don't really mind. I did have a family my father you had a father then your mother no i shouldn't ask something like that like hey hey. hey hey so what's girls day anyway it's a doll festival held on march 3rd dolls are set up so you can pray for the girls health and success and then you eat stuff like sweet rice crackers or mochi that comes in different colors mm. i see <laughs> that's amazing kaime you sure do know a lot it's nothing really I'm not saying everyone is supposed to know this, but for her not to know what Girls' Day is, what kind of past does Chiaki have? It's fun to go to places with someone, plus you teach me lots of interesting things. Hey, let's go somewhere again, okay? Yes, let's do this again. We made that promise and left the supermarket. I need to think about the place that I can take Chiaki that will make her happy. Chiaki's report card has been updated. I swear, if I pull a, ch if I freaking pull a Chihiro, I'm gonna be pissed. I took Chiaki back to her room. Otherwise, she'd just be a random in a random place to fall asleep if I let her be. Now it's nighttime. Ahem. Hope Pink Academy School Kit is now. Then please return to your rooms and relax. Now then. On any other night, I'd probably just go to sleep, but I can't stop thinking about that game. It's not like I believe what Nagito said. It's just a good idea. Not a good idea to leave it alone. Twilight soon a murder case, huh? I should give it a try. Just a little, just to see how it is. No! No 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 why why do I have to force my character to go into impulse thoughts no Chiaki's right there no 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 Huh? Where are you going at this era? The Monokuma announcement was just made. Well, you know, what about you? What are you doing? Why are we changing the subject though? Hey. I was gonna go back to my cottage anyway. What about you? What and what do you mean, you know? Um, um, I felt a little hungry, so I'm thinking about getting a snack either at the restaurant or the supermarket. Mm. I see. So I'll be going now. See you later. Huh. Yep. Good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. I feel like she totally saw right through me. Yes, she did. This is why you don't freaking lie. This is why lying makes me angry and gives me, like, it gives me anger. It, like, straight up gives me anger because I hate, I one, I hate lying. Like, I don't really, like, obviously, you know, as a kid and as a teenager, you have done it. Things like that happen. But I hate lying. Um, Like, act, like I hate 
lying and being lied to. That's like the two things I hate the like, like a lot, a lot, a lot. And so the fact that this is the second time that my main character has now lied makes me mad. It, it does not make me feel good at all about main character at all. Like there's no point in lying. Like here I pseudo, like I, I can't even say I get it because like, so here I am. If the game turns out to be dangerous, then I'll stop playing it. So I should just go for it. Ah. I guess now I should start playing a little, little. Cautiously stood in front of the arcade game and the screen automatically lit up. As I faced the screen, screen, I put my hand on the joystick. Monokuma Soft, licensed by Monokuma Incorporated. Warning, this game is a work of non-fiction. Any resemblance to the real persons or living deed is purely intentional. This game has a strong old-fashioned vibe to it. I wonder if the person who's controlling Monokuma actually is pretty old. Oh well, I should start trying to start it up. It'll start if I press the start button, right? Now then, let's begin Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. Press the start button with your own hands. Girl A. Ah, it's already late. I'm gonna be going for a late, or I'm gonna be late for our meeting. Everyone waiting. Everyone's waiting, so I gotta hurry. If I go, if I'm late, everyone's gonna hate me. Um, they're waiting in classroom 1A. Oh my god, this is creepy. Man, you're finally here. You're so late. What are you, what are you doing? I'm sorry if you're angry. I'm sorry. Um, don't be mad. We're not angry. Just hurry up and get over here. Oh, okay. I should go talk to girl B for now. Um, we're here because you had something important to say, right? What's this about? Girlie, obviously it's about yesterday's incident. Hey, you already saw the newspaper, right? Y yeah. Huh? What newspaper? God, you're such a slowpoke, girl, eh? It's in today's evening's new newspaper. This one, here you go. Just read it. July 8th, around 6 a.m., a janitor from XX Academy came to work. I discovered a body of a female high school student in the music room on the second floor. The student had been struck forcefully in the head with a blunt object. No! No! We're I did it! I didn't mean to stop! We didn't need to reference Chihiro! I literally said it as a freaking, like, no! I said that can't happen! We can't pull out Chihiro! And now we're talking about her freaking death! Ah! <laughs> and was already dead. It seems the killer broke a window to escape based on the details of the crime, authorities say. The investigation is still ongoing, but I believe someone may have snuck into the school to commit the act. Ah, that was so a reference to Chihiro's death. I was a little surprised. I never expected it would make the newspaper. It says someone may have snuck into the school. So they might be thinking it's a, that a pervert did it. It is the only lead that they have. I mean, her school swimsuit did get stolen too. That's sick and twisted. Sneaking into a school and stealing a swimsuit and killing a nearby girl and escaping out that window. But yeah, we're all in danger too. But is this really okay? We're the first ones to discover the body and kept it a secret. I, I would have been the same no matter who found the body first. Don't worry about it. It's not like we have anything to hide anyway. That's right. We all did. All we did was find the body and not report it. That's not really a crime. But, but still... I know that you're a misogynist, but there's no way I'm going to get involved in this. I'm finally a student at this academy. There's no way I'm getting expelled over something like this. Right. This isn't right, girl D. Yeah, I agree, but... What's up? You don't seem too sure. Um, um, I actually have something to discuss with you guys. Girl D, I wonder what's going on. What does she want to talk about? To be honest, I ended up taking several photos of her yesterday. Are you talking about her body? I thought we might get questioned by the police, so I thought I should take it just in case. Where are those photos now? I have them right here. Whoa, 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 I don't want to look at them. We're definitely going to get cursed. C cursed. 
st stupid. Curses aren't even real. Uh, you seriously need to throw away those photos and give them to me. Uh, hey! This is bad. If you rip it like that, the curse... I just said curses don't exist. It's better to just rip those photos to shreds and throw them in the incinerator. Girl D, if you have any digital copies, you need to erase them now, too. Okay. Hey, Girl E, what happened? Why do you sound so desperate? N never mind. Just forget about the whole incident. We had nothing to do with it, and we aren't the first ones to discover the body. Okay, the end. Seriously, let's just go home already. Come on, it's getting late. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are we still playing this freaking game? Man, it's already late. The hardest part of being in the archery club is changing clothes. Everyone's probably going back by now, then. So I guess I have to go back to my own room. I think it's around that time the incident occurred, too. Ah, oh, jeez. Why am I thinking about something stupid again? That's right. I just gotta hurry up and forget about that incident. I won't let you forget. Huh? I won't let you forget. Who's there? Who are you? I won't let you forget. I won't let you forget. I won't let you forget. For forgive me, for forgive me, never, 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 never. I will never forgive you. Ah, girl A. What happened? Did something happen? This is bad. This is really bad. Uh, her head split open like that one time. It's probably the curse. The curse. It's all the curse's fault. Because of the curse, girl E. What happened to girl E? Take a look in classroom 1B. Um, she probably murdered herself. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Yeah, pretty much. Game over, down five. Huh? This is the end. Wait, now it's game over for some reason. I don't get it. Even the game structure didn't make sense. And why? It started with the second day and all of a sudden jumped to the fourth afterwards? Why were the first and third days skipped? What was down five message in the game over screen? Down five? Who's down by five? What the heck is this? I don't get this at all. How would this be a motive? Is this why? Is this what it's like to play a creepy video game? For now, it's a waste of time just to stay here. So I should go back to my cottage and think about it. We shouldn't have done it in the first place, but it's fine. I went back to my cottage feeling hazy and disoriented. I tried to think about why it felt so strange. I fell asleep without realizing it. Life isn't just about moving forward. When confronted by an important question, it's good to keep moving and take your time thinking about it. For example, my stomach hasn't felt well all morning, so I ran to the restroom as soon as I got off the train. But right when I was about to enter, an important question stood before me. Life is like every now and then, suddenly important questions get in your way. The important question that stood before me was gentleman sign at the restroom door. As I resisted the overwhelming urge to poop, I thought about it desperately. Am I really a Gentlemen? Do I have a class? Am I honest? Am I faithful? No. Why am I even hesitating? Of course I'm a gentleman. A regular person would last five minutes resisting the urge to poop, but this gentleman certainly would. Most certainly would. Piled with pride, I ran to the restroom meant for the gentleman that awaited me, and what awaited me was another important question. The important question stood before me was Western style or Japanese style signs on the door? I definitely was born in Japan, but I haven't forgotten what makes clean, beautiful Japan so good. So, do I have enough confidence in myself to take a Japanese style poop? As soon as you see, as soon as you can see, there's always important questions waiting for you. What's that's what life is all about. Okay, interesting decision making skills. Morning, huh? 
in the end, that game's still a mystery, and I don't even know what it would be a motive. I should just bite the bullet and try discussing it with everyone. I guess I should head over to the restaurant. Hi, Mikan. Hi, Mikan. Uh, good morning. It's such a nice day today. I'm so glad it's sunny. I mean, if it wasn't sunny, it would be a waste. Huh? Waste? Ah, uh, it's nothing! I was only bubbling to myself just now. Still, I'll exclude myself first. Waste? Well, 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 what is going on? I'm not gonna talk to Ibuki. I like Ibuki, but at a distance. <laughs> Good morning. Hey. Good morning, Hayame. Ah, it's rare for you to reply so quickly in the morning. Yep. Yeah, I just finished a game, playing a game right now. Hey, hey. More importantly, I was wondering, is someone bringing food to Nagino? I brought food to him yesterday morning, but I don't know about the others. Is it alright if I see how he's doing later? I'll head over to the restaurant for now. Good morning, Hiyoko. Doesn't Chiaki get bored of playing games, the same game, over and over and over again? She's not going to reply to my greeting, is she? I don't understand gamers at all. In fact, I don't even want to understand them. Seriously, everyone here is such a weirdo except for Mahiru. Jeez. When I'm with you guys, I feel like I'm going to become a weirdo too. I feel like you already are one. Yes, I agree. I feel like she already is a mess. Good, day. good morning, Hayame. Yes, good morning to you too. After greeting everyone, I put some food on my plate. And sat myself at a table near the window. Yo. What is it, Hayame? Is it is that all you're gonna eat? What? You're you just eat too much, Akane. You. You're one to talk. You eat all this candy. Why? Just because I eat candy does not mean you should make fun of it. These gummies have four different fruit flavors, so I am sure they're full of nutrients. Like... You should just eat real fruit. This seems like a bad time to bring the game all of a sudden. I mean, if we did agree before that, we shouldn't even play the game. Let me tell you is, this. is Mahiru missing? Hmm? After Gundam said that, I looked around the restaurant. Sure enough, there was no sign of Mahiru. She's always here, every morning. It is so strange for her not to come. Um, I, wa I wonder if she's not feeling well. Maybe. If she doesn't feel good, that's fine. But there's a small chance that she's... A small chance that she's what? Uh, hmm, I saw a hero outside the hotel. Oh, I see. Jeez, Jeez don't say such a spooky thing. As punishment, how about you run in a circle three times and say woof and jump off a cliff? I don't want to die like that. But what was my hero doing outside the hotel? She said she wanted to be alone. I, I asked her to come eat with us and she turned it down. Wanted to be alone? M maybe she's planning on playing that game? What are you saying, pig barf? There's no way Mahiro would play video games. She's not the slowpoke gamer girl over there. Huh? Uh, you were referring to me? <laughs> Eek! I am pig barf, aren't I? <laughs> it's going to be impossible to start talking about that game. And while I was lost in thought, someone quietly sat across the room from me at the table. Yo. Hey, hi, Mike. Got a second? What, what is it? Kazuichi leaned forward to his seat and glanced quickly around the room. And whispered to me, Today, 2.30 p.m., come to the supermarket. And don't tell anyone else about it. Huh? I'll tell you the details later. Everyone else can see us right now. It's bad. What What do you? What does he mean by it's bad? Hey, what are you lowly creatures discussing amongst, amongst yourselves? Well, nothing. I got nothing to do with you. It's got nothing to do with you, so just relax and go away. Oh my god, Kazuichi. Hmm. <laughs> Did you think I was worried about you, fiends? <laughs> you make me laugh. Laugh, I say. You've elevated arrogance to an art form. What sort of supreme ruler feels concerned for the ants who dis are destined to be crushed? I am the forbidden ruler of who makes even the god of darkness flee in terror. All I desire... Is silence and indifference. Silence and indifference. I never took him for the lonely type. For now. Anyway, Hayame, 
that's what's happening. So I'll see you then. You know, so just so you know, make sure you conserve your energy. Huh? Conserve my energy. <laughs> I'll see you later. Oh my gosh, Kazuichi, I don't need this. What was he on about? Stuff I don't need to worry about. Instead of talking about game or games, I received a strange request from Kazuichi. And that day's breakfast came to an end. I don't trust you, Kazuichi. Well, Kazuichi told me to meet at the supermarket at 2.30 p.m., but what he what did he mean by that? He told me to conserve my energy. Well, I guess I shouldn't wander off far right now. Well, I got free time. So that's something I wasn't expecting to have. So I can't say I'm mad, per se. Let me check on my pet. There's probably... Nope, there's not. Okay. The other thing is I have to make sure I, like, investigate the area to get my Monokuma things. Um, but I'll have um, other people on call while I do that. Um, oh, that's not what I want. I want the map. Hmm. Nekomaru is not in his room, so I don't have that to worry about. Um, Sonia's, like, elsewhere. Akane. Chiaki's in her room, but I feel like we've spent a lot of time talking to Chiaki. Uh, Gundam's on the ranch. You know what? That is who I'm going to talk to. Because, I mean, okay, let's be honest. The breeder is at the ranch. I'm sorry. I have to. I have to. Like, I, I know I can have beach time with my BF in the game. And, I mean, he's not really on the beach. So, it's not really beach time with the BF. But, I mean, hey, if he was on the beach, it might be a different story. But... Like, we're hitting three markers on a couple of people, and I really do like that. Mahir is sketching me out a little bit by not showing up to the breakfast meeting. So, I am going to go ahead and see... Oh, yeah, see, he's near the ranch, too, but he's not necessarily at the ranch. Oh, I did. I should have gone in the ranch. That was dumb of me. I need to go... But, like, seeing the breeder with all of his animals, that makes a lot of sense to me. Like... It's extremely quiet, and all those spirits of the earth are afraid of something. What should I do? Hang out with the Gundam, of course. I praise your good judgment. No matter how many there are, they'll never be able to invade my surroundings. <laughs> Though, you may have affected my magic instead. <laughs> I was forced to listen to Gundam's story about the earth spirits and who tends to the land. Looks like Gundam and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give us a uh, present? Yes. I think that he'd be into the jewelry. The Jabberwocky jewelry. Pendant designed with coconut tree motif. There's a custom Jabberwock Island which presents to give this to their children and one day pass it on to their own kids. Yeah, we'll give it. We'll see. Do you really think I'd be happy with something like this? Fine, I guess I'll accept it for the time being. You should prepare a better offering though next time. Whoa, there. It's better if you don't get any closer than that. An automatic barrier is generated independently for, of my will. It's not like I'm getting close or even planning to get close. Which reminds me, there's something I haven't asked you yet. It doesn't matter what your temporary name is, Hayame Hinata. But tell me your true name, friend. What the heck is a tr th this true name thing? Hmm. So you are, you're not foolish enough to tell me so easily. Then, tell me your hidden name. I, I don't have anything like that. Then what is your special ability? There's no way I have one of those. Hmm. So you really are just a mere human. I suppose it can't really be helped, but then let me talk to you about something that even mere humans can understand. Ask me anything. So I have to ask. However, it's free for you to ask, but make sure you try to not understand. After knowing my true terror, it'll be quite a sight to see how long your sanity will last. Does he want me to talk or not? Which is it? Talking to him is starting to get annoying, but he's totally ready and waiting for me. I guess I have to ask something. Um, what did you do with your free time usually? Hmm, so you're interested in my lifestyle. 
Fine then. I shall reveal a portion of that to you. Training, human hunting, craft, spell components, etc. Despite my looks, I am quite a busybody. However, managing my website takes up a bulk of my time. Huh? Obviously, sources around the world are waiting to see my research results. Of course, my website has been magically enchanted, so only chosen ones can view it. A mere human like you would only be able to access the dummy site called Exciting Breeding Journal. I'd rather check out the Ultimate Breeder's Exciting... I would rather check out the Ultimate Breeder's Exciting Breeding Journal anyway. Then I will make sure to show you. Well, if we ever get out here, that is... Well, do you have any other questions? What's your favorite type of food? Hmm, you certainly hit the mark well. I am fond of the orange melon, which bears the face of the devil. Um, are you talking about a pumpkin? There's no other food that as high in nutrients, nor as versatile in the variety of cooking methods. More importantly, its seeds are the most effective food source for my four dark divas of destruction. However... You must carefully wash them, dry them in the sunlight, peel off the thin skin, and lightly fry them. I see. That sounds pretty difficult. Is there anything in this world that isn't difficult? Pleasure and pain are irrelevant as long as you propose and to take action for that sake. You're right. That's exactly right. Gunnam is hard to understand sometimes, but I do understand the intent behind his words. Somehow, even though only a little, I feel like I'm starting to get to know Gundam a bit better. Gundam has been added to the report card. So now I should be able to talk. It's probably going to make me talk to Kazuichi. We we left and we are now, it's about 2.30, probably time to, for Kazuichi. Looks like it's almost time to meet up with Kazuichi. Yep. He told me to come to the supermarket. What is he talking about all of a sudden? And keeping a, this secret from the others? I don't want him to think about it. I don't want to think about it if he's plotting to. No, there's no way someone as carefree as him would do something like that. Oh, it's going to just kick us straight into it. Okay, never mind. I was going to end the episode there and give you guys a fright great cliffhanger, but nope. The game, uh, game said no. Huh? Well, it's well past the arranged time and there's no sign of Kazuichi. All of a sudden, the anxiety began inside of me to swell up like a balloon until... Yo! What? Hey. What the heck? Don't get all pissed off just because I was a little late late oh i get it i totally forgot he's that kind of guy a guy who doesn't mind showing up late even though he's the one who asks for me me for our time to come that kind of guy well makes sort of sense so what do you want why'd you call me out here like this hey. well you know can you do me a little favor a little favor uh. i just overheard something apparently it's miss sonia's idea for a change of pace it looks like the girls are secretly planning to go splash around at the beach it doesn't seem so secret now Wait, don't tell me you. As expected, Miss Sonia splashing around in the sea is a nice idea. I admire her so much, it's shocking. My heart trembles around her so much, it's about burned out. So let's crash it together. Why me, of all people? Well, it's weird to fake a co coincidence all by yourself, isn't it? How about a scenario where you and I go to the beach and then we ruin, run into the girls by coincidence? Hey, you better not say no. I can't ask any other guy to help me with this. Nekamaru can't keep his mouth shut to save his life, and Gundam as well. Gundam. Fuyuhiko and Nagito are out of the question. I, I understand where you're coming from, but I don't feel like going to the beach. Hey, hey I took time to prepare a swimsuit, you know. And now you're just going to walk all over my kind of act? You're snapping at me. If you say no, I'm going to bug you about it until you die. There's no way he's joking about that. This is Kazuichi, after all. I, if I have no choice, then fine. Yahoo! Then it, me, that's my Jaime. How? That's how a soul brother should act. Ugh, what do I have to do? Well, well based on what I overheard, it looks like they're going to go to Chandler Beach on the second island. Why? That's why i got to head over to the diner first. Our plan is to be at the beach before they get there. And we're going to act like it's just a coincidence. Got it. So I, I need to go to the Maybe diner. Yahoo! I'm getting excited right now. Well, that makes one of us, I suppose. Looks like he can't take a hint. 
Yay! Next episode's gonna be so great, guys. I'm definitely not gonna be triggered up the wazoo. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this episode where I'm not triggered. Um, and we'll see you guys in the next episode where I definitely will be triggered. Uh, love you all a ton, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!